highlighting the life and career of unsung gospel legend, the late Reverend Claude Joseph Johnson, as known as to many, Dr. C.J. Johnson. Dr. Claude Joseph C.J. Johnson was born in Douglasville, Georgia, to Will and Cora Reed Johnson, on May 16, 1913, and moved with his family to Atlanta in 1916. When his mother died, Johnson and his siblings were sent to live with their paternal grandmother, Sarah Farley Johnson. Johnson's musical proclivities were likely inspired by his father, a shape note singing instructor who traveled throughout Georgia in the 1920s and the 1930s. A quick study, the young Johnson sang his first song in front of a church congregation by age five, was saved at age seven, and preached his trial sermon by age eight. He began pastoring the Antioch Baptist Church in Barnesville, Georgia when he was 12. The deacons built a platform for him to stand on, so he could be seen over the lectern. Years later, he told gospel singer and historian Horace Clarence Boyer that he and the pioneering gospel singer Clara Georgia Peach Hudman were members of the same church and sometimes sang together. Johnson married Elizabeth Daniels, whose astute management of household expenses enabled her husband to attend seminary school during the Great Depression she would later co-write some of his songs. Johnson became pastor of St. Joseph Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta, and in 1963, he received a Doctor of Divinity degree from Carver Bible Institute. Also a songwriter, Johnson's composition, I Want to Go Where Jesus Is, sounded as if it had been written in the 19th century. It was his first single, released on the Atlanta-based Seantin label in 1965. Around this time, Deacon Harrison Smith, an Atlanta gospel announcer, told Fred Mendelssohn of Savoy Records about Johnson. Mendelssohn liked what he heard, signed Johnson to a Savoy recording contract, and reissued the Ziantin single on Savoy. On Savoy, I Want to Go Where Jesus Is, became a gospel hit. Simultaneously, the company cut the pastor's first album, You Better Run, in 1965. The song, You Better Run, became the biggest hit in his recording career. In 1966, it was the song, You Better Run, caused many doors to open, at the time for the 53-year-old pastor, in which he pastored, since the age of 12, this song put him on the map, nationwide. Dr. C.J. Johnson and his old-time prayer meeting, or old-time song service, may have seemed anachronistic when released in the 1960s and 1970s, during times of great experimentation in gospel music. Their enduring popularity, however, demonstrated a demand by gospel music enthusiasts for reminders of a simpler time. His music was a reminder of how black African-American congregations would have song service.
Between 1965 and the early 1980s, Johnson released a total of 20 albums on Savoy. Some were comprised of Johnson and his congregation singing spirituals, gospel songs, old and new, common meter hymns, and long meter hymns all unaccompanied by any instrumentation. Others were recordings of his sermons and yet others a combination of singing and sermons. 26 of the recorded songs were Johnson's own compositions. When it's all over, I'm going home. When it's all Most of the albums were recorded at St. Joseph Missionary Baptist Church. The one from 1966 was recorded live at New York's Rockland Palace and a 1970 issue was captured at Rocky Mount Bethel Baptist Church in Lukersville, Georgia, and also at the Mount Olive Baptist Church in Molina, Georgia in 1978. Some of Johnson's most notable work was, Father I Stretch My Hands to Thee, on Savoy Records in 1982. This recording featured a more up-to-date version of 1966, classic You Better Run, which received heavy radio play around the country. Also, the old-time song service, I'm Going to Wait Till My Jesus Comes Again, on Savoy Records 1980. Besides, recording and releasing albums, Johnson regularly ran revivals throughout the 1980s, and attending workshops and seminars. Dr. Johnson never was concerned with his many accomplishments in his music career. His main goal was to win souls for Christ. In 1987 Johnson recorded his final live recording in Atlanta, which was released on Meltone Records in 1988. In failing health, Dr. Johnson continued his Sunday morning services until it forced him into retirement. He died July 20, 1990, at age 77. In a 1985 interview with historians William and Janice Dargan, Dr. C.J. Johnson stated emphatically, I'm not a gospel singer, I'm a gospel preacher. I sing because I love it, I preach because I must.